fucking Clark. into anything without a safe word. So now, I get up there. The Mass General Hospital saved me, but yeah, I did have a few, but well, the Mass General Hospital, greatest hospital in the world. Yeah, really, they are. Dr. Maya, Dr. Monsoor. I got a team of doctors. But you know, I, I, I'm alive, I'm doing all right. I'm playing with house money. You know, and now I'm doing movies. I retired, I'm doing more work now than I ever did. I did this movie recently down in Provincetown. And for those of you who don't know Provincetown, how can I explain? It's a giant homosexual enclave. <laughs> now, I've never used the word enclave in my life before, so I hope it's apropos. But, so I'm talking to these two faggots, and I say, hey, oh my, oh God, forgive me. You're not supposed to say faggot. You can't say a lot of words now. When I was coming up, you can say whatever you want. But I said, I don't feel bad, because when I was a kid, I used to dress in nice clothes. You know, not women's clothes, but nice clothes. <laughs> my friend said, Lenny, you're a fag. I go, I am. Hey, I am. I'm a fag, he's a fag, she's a fag. Hey, Ma, pass the potatoes, you faggot. You know, a kid was stealing my bike off the front porch. Hey, put my bike back, you faggot. My father came out. What? Don't you call that boy a faggot? He's just a queer. You know, so now. But he's a big-hearted guy, my dad, you know? But I'm down there, and we're doing the next scene. I didn't know what it was. So this person walks by and says, excuse me, miss. My buddy punches me in the arm. I go, what? Go, That's not a miss. I go, she's got a dress on. Earrings, jewelry. Funny, it's not. She turns around. She had a ZZ Top beard, right? So I look, I go, hello, person. Because I don't know if you, because now with all these pronouns, you know, he, she, he, we, we. I mean, when I was a kid, it was him, her, she, him, him. It was simple. You know, 
And so I said, well, what do you prefer to be called? She said, I prefer to be called them. I'm saying, is that plural for something? Okay, then. So what do you prefer to be called? I said, I prefer to be called thus. <laughs> Why do you want to be called thus? Because you're them. How's that? Wear a fucking name badge. I can't keep up. This shit's getting out of hand. I saw a guy playing volleyball the other day on TV. He left the men's team because he sucked and he's playing with the women because the volleyball net for the women alone. I didn't know that. So he goes up and he spikes this ball, breaks the girl's nose, knocks her out, she sits her pants right on TV. I ask you women, is that fair? Is it? Of course it's not. How about the guy who swims? The guy who sucked on the men's swim team, now he's on the women's team. He's breaking records. He might go to the Olympics. Do you women think that's fair? Of course not. He's got a dick. He uses it as a runner. <laughs> Listen. You know, there are a bunch of comedians tonight and we raise money for the, the Neely House and the Neely Foundation, which does great cancer research and everything. Yeah. And my wife, uh, who I love, uh, as opposed to the first one who I hate. <laughs> Sorry, it just wasn't there. Uh, she went through breast cancer and Cam and Paulina you know, said, Lenny, what are you staying at these hotels for? Stay at the Neely House. So I stayed with my wife at the Neely house and I was cooking and other other people, they thought I was a chef. <laughs> Are you a chef? Yes, I am. Uh, so we had a good time, but it means the world to me. But you know, this, this town, you know, comics come home. I went away, I came back, but I never really left. I don't want to leave. I love it. I love to see people. Where's Pilar? Where's Jimmy Pilar? Where are you, Jimmy? McLaughlin, you having birthdays? Ah, oh, hey, happy birthday to you. Brian McLaughlin up there. Steve Burton from the news over there. Love you. It's a, there's a reason. So I'm going to take away the rest of my time right now. If you indulge me. There's a woman in some of them. And she's a firefighter. And she's beautiful. And she's a badass. And let me tell you. She... Recently won, fought, well, but one she got honored with Firefighter of the Year in the whole country. Right? She won't tell you, but let me tell you how it happened. She went to a tree alarm fire and the house was in flames. She goes charging in, goes up to the second floor and sees this 83 year old man. And he's going, I'm nervous. She looks at him and goes, you're nervous. I got five kids waiting for dinner, and my husband's cooking. I'm more nervous. She looks at him, blasts him through the window, falls down, lands on the shed with him on top of him, bounces her off, and gets caught by seven firefighters. And they got this shit on film. So now, because of COVID, what do they do to a hero like this? They give her a little piece of paper. Thanks for being so great. Medal of Valor, too. And a little something for you. Well, not when Dennis Leary's around. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the hero of the night. It's Danielle O'Hearn, Lieutenant Danielle O'Hearn, a beauty and a badass.